13 Reasons Why Season 2 just launched on Netflix today and I was debating on whether or not I was going to make some videos on it because it seemed like Season 2 is going to be more of a teen drama than actually cover some mental health topics like Season 1 did. But after watching Episode 1, there are definitely some major issues uh, regarding mental health that we need to talk about, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. Glad that season two of 13 Reasons Why started and we're gonna talk about it. So be warned, there will be spoilers. I just finished watching episode one and if you haven't watched the first season, either A, you need to go watch it or B, you might be confused about some of the plot points that I'm talking about, okay? But anyways, these are my first impressions. And like I said in the intro, when I saw the preview for season two, it seemed like, you know, they weren't gonna address like depression and things like that. Like it was gonna be more like, oh, what kind of crazy stuff's going on, more of a mystery. And like, while that is definitely something that's going on this season, there are some mental health things that we should talk about, okay? So I'm gonna break it down um, by a few of the characters. So first off, let's talk about our main character, Clay, okay? So Clay, at the end of season one, you know, he found out everything that happened to Hannah and he's trying to get her justice and everything like that. And right now the trial is starting. So the parents uh, of Hannah Baker were gonna have a settlement, but now there is an actual trial and they're calling in witnesses to the stand. So I'm not gonna dive too much into the plot of that. It's, it's making things definitely interesting. But anyways, Clay, he is struggling with closure um, this season. And this is something difficult. Like I made a video about how I've dealt with a lot of grief and loss and it, it's something that's difficult and especially for Clay. So this season, he he really doesn't wanna talk about it. He's, he's, his mom's trying to get him to talk about it. Um, he's now dating uh, a new woman and she, he doesn't wanna talk about it with her and things like that. And it's definitely messing with his head. And this is this is something that we need to process. So when you go through therapy, when you work with a therapist um, or any kind of like a 12 step recovery program, like you get to process things. So a lot of the, the trauma and disturbances we have is because our brain hasn't been able to properly assess the situation and walk through that story. And so Clay is currently holding on to a lot of guilt and shame and things like that, and he's not gonna fully heal. So hopefully this season he opens up and we get to kind of see his process going through that. Now. <clears throat> the next thing regarding Clay, so his new girlfriend, he's now dating the girl, I forgot her name. He's now dating the girl who he was friends with a long time ago and he starts talking to her again at the end of season one. Well, they're now dating. So they are about to uh, do uh, the thing, right? And as they're messing around, he notices cuts, right? And he calls her out on it, he's like, what, what's this? And she says, oh, I used to you know, cut down there. Like a common place for people to self harm is their inner thigh, okay? And he's like, no, these are, these are fresh cuts. And that's when she has to tell him the truth. She's like, yes, I did, I was cutting, you know, da 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 And he, he's trying to do kind of what I talked about in my last video, go check it out, about how to help somebody with depression, right? So he starts doing a bunch of things that you don't do, right? So he starts saying like, haven't you meditated? You know, why don't you go for a mindful walk? And I'm like, ugh, don't do that stuff, you know? And he's, and he's like, you told me that you would call me before you cut and da 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 da, -da. And he's just, he's, barraging her with this stuff. So while this comes from good intentions, the conversation needs to be much, much different. Um, so there is gonna be the topic of self-harm this season, and it's something that I haven't touched on on my channel yet, and I know it's something that we need to talk about because not only do a lot of people struggle with self-harming behaviors, but a lot of young people do too. So if you would like me to do videos on self-harm, like let me know in the comments. Like I try to make videos catered to you. So if that's a topic you want me to discuss, please let me know. But we're gonna see more of how that progresses this season. But <clears throat> here's something that, that happened later is that when Clay and her were about to do their thing again, right? Like. Um, he freaks out because he keeps seeing Hannah and he won't open up and talk to her about it. And she thinks that there's a problem with her because he's saying like, you know, uh, there's nothing, I just can't do it tonight, blah, 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 right? And she feels ugly, she feels unattractive and things like that. So by the way, if any of you are in a relationship with somebody who struggles with mental illness, like start working on conversations. Like the more that is unknown, 
the more this thing gets to create crazy stories. So since Clay's not being honest with her about what's going on with him, she's taking it as she's not attractive, you know, she's not good enough and things like that. So I think this might make her cut some more, okay? So without even realizing it, Clay might be triggering her cutting. Next, let's talk about Alex. So at the end of season one, Alex tried to commit suicide, all right? And we didn't know if he lived or died. Like they were like, yo, this kid just shot himself, okay? So in this season, like there's some questions that are unanswered. I was like Googling stuff. I'm like, did I miss something? Um, but it's, it's kind of playing into the plot of this season, but Alex wrote a suicide note and he doesn't remember anything. They don't really answer the question of like, was he drunk, was he high, was he blacked out or whatever, but his memory is now shot, um, probably because of the suicide attempt. Alex's situation, so, in this season, he's returning back to school. So he was in a coma for a while. He's now seeing a, a therapist uh, and a doctor. He has a limp. He probably did um, some brain damage or nerve damage. Um, but this is really interesting. And I haven't talked about this on the channel, but he's dealing with life after a suicide attempt. So when going back to school, he's worried about what people are gonna think. Are they gonna judge him and all these things. And like, I'm really glad this show is addressing that. Like, man, like the show has done a good job with a, they have a new disclaimer at the beginning and stuff. And like for all the people who are bashing on this show season one, like calm down, calm down, okay? Like this show is bringing up very good topics that we need to discuss. And I'm really glad that they are showing Alex's struggle, like returning from a suicide attempt and you know, I, this is why there are people who make multiple suicide attempts because even after that, it's even more, it's almost more difficult. You know what I mean? So I'm glad they're showing it. I hope we see some, some resolutions to that. So now is my third topic of this. And this is one of the reasons why I dislike people saying that the season one was glorifying suicide and stuff like that. Because when Alex returns to school, um, one of the guys tells him that they're not allowed to talk about it. They're not allowed to talk about suicide. They're not allowed to talk about Alex's suicide attempt. They're not allowed to talk about what happened to Hannah. And if they talk about any of these things, they're gonna get suspended. Like, what? What? Like, that's crazy. And this is the issue. This is one of the biggest mental health issues in our country is that we keep saying, just don't talk about it. Just don't talk about it. Just don't talk about it. That's not how this thing works. We need to talk about it. Now, I will tell you this, Mr. What's his name? <laughs> I think it's Mr. Porter. He is my man this season. So it's interesting because they say, don't talk about it or you get suspended. But this, uh, this guy, he's actually making this mandatory like class for people to come in there and process and talk about some of these things. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. But yeah, major, major issue saying, just don't talk about this stuff. And especially threatening these kids with punishment. Like, y'all need to back up. Like, this is why schools should have like licensed therapists. Like they should have brought in some therapists, you know, into this school to help these kids deal with this stuff um so yeah i would love to hear from all of you leave comments down below are you watching this season are there any other topics in this season that you think are good that you may want me to cover or uh, unpack a little bit for other people um is there anything in this season that you struggle with that you wish other people kind of understood because i'm more than happy to do more videos this season i still don't know how i'm gonna do it i definitely don't want to do every single episode um so if you have any suggestions Leave them down in the comments below, all right? But hey, you know what? It's it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Share this video, share this video because I think there's a lot of good lessons to be learned from 13 Reasons Why, okay? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health and spread some awareness. Click that little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out some other content on this channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails, all right? Thanks again so much for watching. Check out 13 Reasons Why Season Two on Netflix, and I'll see you next time.